Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Eric Patterson. Today I will show you how to install Jenkins. Without further delay, let's jump into the topic. So I would like to, uh, I will go ahead and log into the virtual machine. I have the virtual machine started so I can jump on it. Good. So I can switch my user to become root so that that gives me more power uh, to install without any issue. And the first thing that you want to do before uh, installing any software, any package into a virtual machine, you want to update it. So this is an Ubuntu uh, virtual machine, as you guys can see here. It's running Ubuntu 22. So I will go ahead and use app to, to update. So app update. I don't have to say sudo app update because I'm already a user root. Good. The VM has been updated. The next step that we need to do is to actually uh, go to the Jenkins documentation and find out um, how to update it. So Oh, uh, if it comes to any software, should that be SonarQ, should that be Jenkins, Confuse, or any software that you want to install, uh, the best thing to do is not to go to a third party, but you have to go to the owner of the product itself so that the installation will be easy. So um, I just have to go on Google and type, for example, how to install Jenkins, then I will, that will take me to the Jenkins website and I will get more information there. Let's just type how to install Jenkins. The first thing that pop out here is the Jenkins uh, website. I go here, and as you guys can see here, we have the, the installation tab here. Under that, we have the installation with Docker, the installation with Kubernetes, the installation with Linux. So we go ahead first, install uh, in Linux. And under Linux here, we have multiple flavors, things I'm running on, 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 on Ubuntu. I can show you guys here. So I will go ahead and choose the Ubuntu flavor, which is this one here. Now, before we start, uh, before installing Jenkins, it is always a good thing uh, before hence to go ahead and install Java because Jenkins need Java to run. If you install Jenkins without installing Java, it will not work. And on the, on the Jenkins documentations, and if you if you scroll down completely, uh, scroll down completely, you will see somewhere it asks to install Java first. Without Java, it will not work. See the place, system CTL. That's a demo reload. Let's see where it asks to install Java. Let's search for Java. Let's see if it pop out. It's an installation requirement, right? Jenkins requires Java, so like I was saying that you will, you will need to install Java. So to install Java is easy. I basically have to copy this and I will just run it on my terminal. That will go ahead and take care of Java for me. Just have to accept. While this is going on, I can take you guys here. Um, here you will see everything that is required, um, everything uh, in terms of like configurations and everything. So everything will be on this page. We will dig into this more when we start uh, doing the, 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 the CI CD. Good, passing tag token. Let's see if Java has been installed. I'll type Java, I think Java hyphen hyphen version. As you guys can see, Java has been installed and it is now running Java 17. So I can go ahead and install Jenkins. To install Jenkins, uh, you, we have either the weekly release or the long-term support. It's always advised to go ahead and install the long-term support. So I only, the only thing I just need to do is to go ahead and copy this entirely and run on my terminal. And that will start installing Jenkins. I will, I will take you guys back. The Jenkins default port is actually port 8080. So by default, Jenkins come, come on port 8080 and then you can override 
you can basically override that port to anything that you want. But when you install Jenkins, if you don't override a port, Jenkins will come on port on port 8080, like it say here. Jenkins sets to listen to port 8080, create an access point on the browser to start configuring. So and you can also change uh, the Jenkins port with this if need be. Let's see, still creating. At the meantime, um, this is, um, at the meantime, I will go ahead and start looking for the port that Jenkins listening on 8080. So now, if we go on browser, if you go on the browser, this is the, the, the IP address of the VMware Jenkins is the, the, the IP address of the VMware we install Jenkins right now. If we query like this, it's, gonna, it's not gonna work because you haven't put a port. So we have to go ahead and put a port 8080 and we query uh, one more time. Jenkins should be able to, to come up. If Jenkins does not come up, it means that something is wrong. Let's try it one more time in another one. Might be that Jenkins is, let me check. This is the where the virtual machine is. So it is running on this virtual machine. Let's go to security. I'll actually check the security group. As you guys can see here, port 8080 is not open. So what we are going to do is that we are going to edit this and we can add, for example, uh, a CP rule. We can say RTCP. Then we can choose like, you can pick like all TCP here, all traffic, or we pick all traffic here, and we say I everywhere. That we take care of that. So this is like I added uh, adding a firewall. So when I launch this VM, I didn't go, I didn't add a firewall. That's why. Now it's going to it's going to work. As you guys can see, Jenkins is up now. When you start Jenkins, this page, this is the page that will be presented to you. And what you have to do, you have to go ahead and look for the secret. There's a secret token located in this directory. So you have to go to the Jenkins virtual machine and actually cut this directory to be able to get the, the secret. So if you return, return there, we cut, it's gonna give us the, the secret. We can copy that secret or we supply it to this dashboard here to continue. Now here, it will always ask you if you want like select plugin to install or if you want to install suggested plugin it is always good to install suggested plugin and then once you get into the portal you could you will go later on and install plugin so there will be a follow-up video which will explain what is a plugin so let's go select the suggested plugin and we go ahead and install these plugins which is just basic plugin that uh we, we need we needed to start i mean to start at least working on jenkins or start building some small job here and there uh, on Jenkins. And later on, depending on what we are trying to do, we can go ahead and install the appropriate the appropriate plugin. Now, the Jenkins dashboard will pop out after that. And you, there will be another dashboard first asking us to register. So I will just put a dummy one, admin, admin, admin everywhere. And here you can put, you can put any email address you can update it later. This is just to show the uh the the what I will say the DNS where my, my Jenkins URL is, which is exactly what we have here. There we can start Jenkins. This is the Jenkins interface. We have successfully uh installed Jenkins and Ubuntu virtual machine. So uh before I stop the video, a couple of points here. Before there are a couple of things that you need to do before you install Jenkins. Number one, uh, on Ubuntu virtual machine, number one, you need to make sure that port 8080 is open. Number two, you need to log in into the Jenkins. You need to log into the Jenkins virtual machine and update it first. And number three, you need to go ahead and install Java. Once you have done install Java, number four, you go ahead and go to the Jenkins documentation and you will find all the command that will be required to, to install Jenkins. And number four, 
you just have to take the IP address of the virtual machine where Jenkins is running, uh, colon 8080, because the default port of Jenkins is 80. You go there, colon only 80, you will be able to hit Jenkins. And when you hit Jenkins, it will ask you to cut. It will give you a specific directory where you need to cut to get a secret. You go ahead, you cut that directory to get a secret. And you take the secret, you punch into the Jenkins uh, dashboard and just follow prompt. Make sure that you install the required plugin and everything will be all right. It was my pleasure serving you and see you uh, on the next video. Thank you.